thought we'd make, make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Safer now it's ownership and bank accounts. The beef with that cake about. Cake Young about. and black on that paper route. Paper they route. never thought we'd make it out. Life camera bracking. We back again. It's the Rich at Heart Podcast. It's the boy Munchy Be the Mayor. And your girl Mariah, the Princess of the Pod. And uh, it's been eventful. We got a lot to talk about, so we're going to get right into it. And you know one of the biggest trolls, uh, Charleston White. I always was saying, like, man, I wish me and the homies bumping in him what we do, X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. He done made everybody in America mad. I don't care where you from, Blood Crip, S.A., Oriental. <laughs> he pissed everybody off. Pissed Mariah off. He disrespected Tupac. Oh, yeah. I ain't going for that one. Didn't, didn't. You a Nipsey fan, right? Yes. Disrespecting Nipsey. So, you know what I'm saying? Just King Von. I'm a King Von fan. King Von, Mama Duck. Yeah. Just, just disrespectful, even if it is. I'm shocked. Mama Snoop, Lil Snoop's mom. Oh, I didn't know about the C. Yeah. Shout out China Mac, man. Disrespect, disrespect the Oriental uh, get up and, and they China Mac and pull some strings. They shut some shit down in New York. But anyways, moving on. Uh... We gonna play this clip because uh they say Brick Baby bumped into him. What? Mm, they say he bumped into him. So so we gonna run this clip and see what the nigga Charleston White talking about. All right, let's hear it. I know when it come to Texas and California, California niggas can't fight, nigga. When them California niggas go to the feds and they got to go do fed time in Atlanta and in Texas, men them niggas stop doing them niggas stop throwing game signs and start speaking Arabic. Them niggas go to Highland Cuz to Asalaamu Alaikum, Walaikum, Wasalam, Bismillah, the Rock Man, the Raheem. Them niggas go speaking all kind of shit, nigga, when they leave California. And I made that nigga Brick Baby speak peace last night. That nigga Big Baby, he been talking all this shit about when he see me in Texas, he looking for me, and he finally seen me. And guess what he did? He tucked his motherfucking nuts. Right. And made his booty tight. He took his nuts Ooh. and made his booty tight and got quiet. Right, you can cut and it. then run to the internet the next morning and say, We get you. And he totally, totally got the Arabic words wrong. Oh my goodness, did he say those words incorrectly? But we need some answers. Hey, yeah, man. And first of all, California. We go to the feds, like California, stick with California, just like the Southern dudes go sit, or whatever is different cars. It ain't. We tuck our tails and, you know, most black dudes, when we go to the pen, we speak Swahili. So the police don't know what we talking about when we trying to send notes or whatever. I don't know, I've never been to the feds, but in, in, in the state. But like you said, we need answers because I know for a fact well, I'm, I got it. I got it. I got it. We, we got to figure it out. I can't sign no for a fact, but I, I believe he wouldn't let him slide like that after the Nipsey uh, disrespect, after this in Crip, after this in the rolling sixties period. So, 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 Mariah, we we need answers. We so. need answers, and and uh, one thing I want to add in: there is nothing wrong with converting to Islam. So, whatever he his, uh, he's he has against that, that's. I don't, I'm not with that at all, Mr. White. But it's like kind of along the lines. He's saying they cut, they, they go to jail and turn holy, get get religious and all that shit. But that's not true, man. You don't knock it off. And even if they did, there's nothing wrong with that. But we need some answers. We need some answers. So my bad. We need some answers. So what we go do is we about to hit up Brick Baby. All right, let's hit up Brick Baby. Tap in, don't tap out. We go tap in. Yep. There we go. Yo yo. Brick Brick. Oh, it goes on with y'all. Hey, look, look, I'm I'm, I'm right here with Mariah Hayes. This is my co-host, Brick Mariah Hayes. You hear me? Hey, how you doing, Mariah. Brick baby? What up, Mariah? Hey, look, look, look. We just ran out of that that clip back. He said California niggas can't squabble. We go to jail, get the t speaking Arabic. You know what I'm saying? All this little shit, and he say, uh, ah, hey, Brick baby speaking peace. I'm like, <laughs> nigga, nigga, I, I doubt that with all the disrespect. I already right, I heard another clip, and then. I heard you say something about some club XC and what wasn't what. You know what I'm saying I'm like, okay, yeah. we need answers, bro. So what happened? Uh, so you know us LA niggas, that's what we do. We squabble. That's what we do. And we hit the county jail and squabble. I mean, it's a couple people that go Muslim, man. We respect their program, but they can't come back to the field after that period. Right. You know what I'm saying? They gotta stick with their brothers. Uh 
But you, you know, man, like at, at, at one point, you know, we was kids, you used to keep count of the county jail phase and all that. Oh, you used day. to post who, who won every day and all that, man. You know, I, I'm super tapped in. But come on, man. If I wasn't at Club Ecstasy, some niggas sent me the video I was trolling with that nigga. That nigga know, nigga, within three minutes of that video getting posted, that nigga was out that door. The homie said that he is sending the footage, but he don't want his face all in the footage. My, my 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 boy had two. He had his little work down inside the club. He say he said the video playing around on the dead homies. That nigga ain't seen me nowhere, nigga. He, we we too aggressive for that, bro. You get what I'm saying? Hey, he so, ain't trying to. So, huh? so 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 you trolled the situation. He he thought you was there based on your troll, and then he really yeah. got, he got up and got little, and then got away and got to talking about. And got to pitch. talking. And got to talking crazy, talking about I was speaking peace. Nigga, I ain't never talked to him. I was, nigga, come on, man. I was at, I was at my boy funeral that day, man. The nigga's a real, you know, he, he, he gonna run with what he run with, bro. But at the end of the day, he's not stepping a foot. I'm in Dallas all the time. I'm finna double back out there, man, to do an interview run. He ain't gonna step a foot on these playgrounds talking like that, man. He ain't go anywhere but California with that shit. I saw, hold on, Club Ecstasy. What that say? In Dallas. Okay, okay. I'm like, I ain't heard about that out here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Club Ecstasy in Dallas, man. You already know it's that it's it's the main strip club. Then he act like he don't fuck with the the, the, the whole bitches and all that. We call him tricky. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. That's that's really what I was showing. Like, nigga, you you over here talking about you don't do no tricking and you don't like to that you in there giving it up, nigga. It's okay, man. You know what okay. I mean? Hey, now we know that nigga pay to play also, B team. He, he yeah, pay to play. Come on, come on, man. But yeah, he he he, he the worst thing that happened to the black community. Much of you already know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, we have to tap in and get your side. I already knew his, his shit was kind of flagrant. It's kind of foul, uh, 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 untrue. There you go. It wasn't the truth. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, it wasn't the truth. And then he opened up. The only thing that I take back from trolling. It's because I let him. I, I opened up a lane for him to holler Nipsey name again, bro. But 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 you know what I'm saying. Every dog has his day. I promise you. You know what I'm saying. Ain't too many people just came across me and it was just peaceful. So you know what I mean. Hmm. Yeah, every dog have his I, day. We go. We we we'll see. Hey, so he just good in, in Dallas though. Ain't nobody tweaking him on him out there in Fort. How you say it? Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Yeah. Fort Worth. So he comfortable there that he could dwell uh, uh, how he want out there though, right? I yeah, I get. I, I don't want to speak on another state in another city, but I guess they culture not like ours. You get what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. guess they not tripping off niggas who do certain stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because 600 and Loose Cannon, them niggas is on the chopping block for playing like Charles the White. Man, they did half the shit that they did. You get what I'm saying? I, and I, we can name we we the whack 100s and all that. Like we we niggas don't come outside after they start playing like that over here. Hey, Wax 600, Lewis Cannon, uh, 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 Charleston White, and, and Snoopy Badass could have a, a whole little comedy They tour. might as well have a panel, oh, right? Yeah, they yeah. might as well start a media company. Y'all <laughs> oh, crazy. What, hey, what is it? A king of comedy? No, king of the trolls. They, they could be king of the trolls. For real. King for real. of the trolls. That's hey, what I'm like, it. man. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they having a problem with accepting young generals, uh, you know, as the time changed, bro, and I tilt my hat off to you, you know what I'm saying? Because you used to be very reckless out here, and you were standing on business, so I'm not going to say reckless without backing it up. But oh, yeah. we all, we've all uh, niggas grown now, and evolved. Niggas have evolved on everything. Yeah, yeah, we all grown and evolved, and these niggas hate to see the YGs turn into the OGs, bro, but this is, all, this is why these niggas not real big homies. They don't, they shouldn't be hating on us coming into this space as reputable YGs turning into older homies because the information that we spit out there is the code that we was and the morals that we was supposed to be bought up on. And that's why I tilt my hat. And when we was starting to have words when I first came home, I told you, hey, we generals, gang. We ain't caught each other yet. We ain't ran each other yet. Nigga, let, 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 let's show the kids, nigga, how we really going to play ball and, and, and how the city supposed to be ran. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I love no. to hear that. No, no, no. For I want peace. Who want peace with me? You know what I'm saying? And niggas like getting to the chili right now with this media space and all that shit. So... You know what I'm saying? It, Everything it, goes. It is what it is. You already know. It's love, man. Whenever y'all need me, you know y'all gonna see us in face. Mariah, was good talking to you. Or is it Maya? Most Mariah. They always Mariah, call me Maria, right. but it's Mariah. And it was definitely a pleasure to talk to you as well. And I definitely want to commend you for your hard work and keeping the peace. You know, I tell much of the same thing. I'm, I'm proud of the growth. 
Man, thank you. I appreciate I, it. Hey, no, we're going to tap back in with you and shit. We're going to be that way pretty soon. I ain't going to say no date on this motherfucker, but me, she's yeah, coming, yeah, she coming yeah. with me, though. Yes, sir. All right. Easy call. Easy call. Stay dangerous, bro. Yeah. Hey, Alex, man. Street gang, man. Munchie, man. Y'all keep on doing y'all thing. It's the brick, man. Yeah, you tap did. in, don't tap out. Good looking yeah, out, bro. Yes, All right. You did. <laughs> All right. So there you go there. We got we got the answer. We need it. Mr. Brick Baby cleared it up. Yeah, man. But you know the boy is a troll and uh he can flip any situation. <laughs> yes. Because you seen how he got <laughs> rushed on stage and he flipped that. He said him and his boy Dewberry beat up the whole whatever state that was, he said they beat up the whole was the that whole Houston? the um I thought they was in Memphis. I I, I wherever they was at. I cannot remember. <laughs> he said they beat up the whole crowd. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but see, I'm gonna give it to Charleston because Charleston go grab anything in reach. Yes. And he go, you know what I'm saying? So so he he tried to hold his ground, but one thing I'll say about him, he does when when he's talking that stuff about like um the youth and certain things, I, I love to hear it when it's on a positive tip. When he starts talking that regular stuff, I turn my ears off. Cause no, I, my thing is I wanna see the receipts. Cause he say he did this for the use this, but I want to see the receipts to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, he that he's a troll. He's known for doing that. He did the same thing with Ti, like saying that he was at his at Ti show and wasn't really there. He he's known for trolling. He like so he 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 gets a rise off of this. He this is what he does. And it's bad because I can hear that the nigga is intelligent and he's smart. Very, he is very smart. But 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 uh. What's that? It's a name for that when you're intelligent and ignorant at the same time. I forget. You know what I'm saying? But but that nigga uses good for bad, bro. That's the bad thing. That nigga, he got a cold way with words. Mm -hmm. he, 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 could, he could talk. And he's very smart. He knows history, all that little shit. But he just uses it for bad. And he knows the law, like, really well. You know, he's, he's, he, he know he's, he, he claims that when he was doing the positive things, he didn't get the recognition. So now that he does destruction and talks crazy, that's the recognition. He gets the right recognition. And I don't understand for the life of me why he chooses to do that because he is a very smart man. I just don't like the evil things that he's has said about these mothers, their deceased sons, and like trolling, like the situation with Brick Baby. Just he likes to troll gang members and certain like he wants to see people crash out and he he loves that. He loves that. He didn't get the attention. Who gives a, who care about attention though? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> man, I do a lot of positive things I don't talk about, but I'm gonna start so people can start seeing me in a positive light. Like my boy 211 suggested, and like Mariah suggested. But yes, sir. I do a lot of shit and I don't do it for pats on the back. That's why I don't speak about it. You know what but I mean? But your heart feel good, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah. It's, it's self fulfilling when I when I do shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, so, but I don't do it for like a. A to, to get acknowledged and to be like, oh, Munchie B's doing, you know, All you right. do it because it's genuine. And then know? when I did the negative things, I don't have to tell nobody because it's that spread easy. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So, of course, I got no, 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 like, uh, notoriety, notoriety off of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. You know, but. we've even had great conversations here when you spoke some real stuff, some real trill stuff that can get back to the youth. And, you know, that may get overshadowed by a, a petty situation, you know, but mm -hmm. that's OK. That is OK, because real recognize real. And, you know, your co-host going to support you. And I'm, oh, yeah, we gonna I call appreciate it all the time. I appreciate it. I, this, this is called the Richard Hart podcast. It could have easily been a B team podcast. Yeah. And, and just so y'all know, Munchie came up with the name. But thank you, nigga. But yep. it's your heart, though. Nigga, stay tuned for the merch. Yes. Oh, we yes, we working. Up next, though, who we got? Who we got? So we got Miss Tasha K. Miss Tasha K. So, um, you know, Cardi B's team um, is alleging that she's been hiding money in secret offshore accounts. Um, and, you know, she's been filing bankrupt and things like that. And it made me want to, you know, we researched where's Tasha K from, you know, for her to have these offshore accounts. So she's from Canada. She's not even from the U.S. So, hmm. um, yeah, she's been hiding money. They've been finding little accounts. And Cardi B has a crazy cold team. We know that. So right. they're not playing with Tasha K. And another thing I want to throw out there, mental health is so important. There was a time when Cardi B was ready to, you know, um, unalive herself due to the fact of all the um horrible things that Tasha K said about herself so about um Cardi B so I don't blame her for for getting at her hit that lady's pockets hit her pockets 
Hey, so so did did Tasha K ever uh, support any any substance to the to the rumor she put out? Um, as far as what? She she said that that uh she carried an STD that didn't go away, right? Mm-hmm. So where, where where what was like where was the receipt that she, she had? She never had receipts. She just would say mean things. That's evil. Hmm. That is evil. And you know, women, we take pride in our bodies and I'm men, well, I can't even say women, men too. Like who wants to have, you know, be accused of having an STD or things that you can't get rid of and calling this woman just terrible names and that that was that was really evil. She said some really evil things about people and um this isn't her first time, but um it's not like Cardi like the four million is really gonna do anything for Cardi, but Cardi ain't playing. You know, no, she's supposed to come for everything she got when you yep. tell somebody like that because you could have potentially ended her her marriage, her if, marriage. He, if, he, if he believed that like oh let's get to the doctor you yeah know, you on me how she or she got a bigger following than you and I and that could weigh heavy mm-hmm. every time you go turn on Instagram then they in the comments and they talking about what you supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly have, and it ain't true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, which caused her to be so depressed and want to unalive herself. I couldn't even imagine. Like, that's why I said, like, this lady really did, she put a number on her. And I'm so glad that Cardi's in a better headspace, which I hope she is in a better headspace. But yeah, her team coming for her. And I'm and I'm happy for Cardi. Hey, one all right, one thing for sure. I'll be always want I always want to know why. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so like if if the hunger came saying, Oh, that boy slapped me, I'm like, why? What happened? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm 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 come to your way, but what happened? So I want to know why she want to put a fictitious, vicious rumor out like that about her. Is you crushing on Offset? Did Offset beat your little your little donies down before? And, and you see he married with a baby and he was happy at the time, and you put something out there like that, or what? Why would a person? You know what I'm saying? One thing I'll never understand is jealousy or envy. So maybe we don't understand that because jealousy and envy is a, is a sickness in the mind. And maybe she's just there. Why she came for Cardi, I'm not understanding. And I don't even want to throw, um, like, say maybe she's just a big Nicki fan or anything, because I love Nicki Minaj too. But, like, she just created, like, rivalries and she just created all these, like, false narratives. So, why we may not ever understand because we don't operate like that and jealousy and envy may, don't live in our heart, you know? Like, I want to see everybody win. Why did you choose to come for this lady? Was it money motivated? Or are you just that jealous and envious of this lady? I'm going to take a page out of Cat Williams' book. I don't know why liars lie. So in this case, I don't know why haters hate. Right. You know what I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why haters hate. I got to run with because I've been getting hated on lately on everything. So I don't know Likewise. why. Likewise. Likewise. Real, real, so. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, I gotta take a page out of Cat Williams' book on everything. Likewise, you know, you can't, you can't even. But uh, it's easier about, said than done. What about, what about, uh, because I ain't did too much research. Kevin Hart may or may not sue her. What, what, what is that? What's her issue with Kevin, Kevin Hart? Um, I've been it, the see the articles oh. weren't that clear, but I believe it has something to do with his ex assistant. Some with extortion. He tried extortion. to she tried to extort her. Yeah, like extort extortion. Him. So it's still coming out, still a developing story. So um, you know that's just coming out today. So we still got to wait some more to get that information. So maybe by the next time we record, we'll have more information on that. But yeah, they coming for Tasha K, and you know Kevin Hart, he will sue. Oh, Kevin Hart got a team. He got bread. Yeah, he all right. Remember when he had to sue his friend for uh, putting that sex tape out? He ain't playing. Oh, I didn't know he knew who it was. Yeah, he he he, he got the FBI involved. I, I know this much. How did how you get the FBI involved with that though? I I don't I don't know, but I thought it was the craziest thing ever. That's how they found out it was his friend. I just thought he was like, "You ain't about to uh, blackmail me." I tell him myself before you black give me for some money, and he just. He just let it out. No, like, like it was real... the friend, his own friend. Be care- be careful who we call friends. But that he admitted was... to it before he found out that was the friend, though. Yeah, but it still ended up coming out and he still sued him. Yep, that was a straight foe, not a friend. Mm, 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 mm. That okay. jealousy and envy is, is a mother. Ain't no cure for it. No, there's no cure. There, You can't even get help for that. Okay, and then allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly because I heard... But we couldn't find a credible source to, to back it. R. Kelly even trying to get in and sue her because, you know, his, his his case and what she leaked about his case that she wasn't supposed to have in her possession and gave it to one of the women and the women became a mm-hmm. star witness. That that was probably 80% of her, the, the reason why he got convicted. Mm-hmm. And I heard I hear that he won't in on trying to sue the girl too. And R. Kelly's broke. So I hope he 
go through with it and are you able to do it you know what i'm saying because mm-hmm. i mean this woman has nothing but malicious intent now i get being a blogger a journalist i, I get that you have to put some certain stories i i understand that but when you start creating things and saying evil things these these are human beings you know like that ain't that ain't cool and although r kelly has done some disgusting beyond <laughs> i can't even say the word um you know um if she, whatever she did he coming for her too but we just gotta wait for that to come out too that's also very much so developing damn man i, I hate the r kelly when i like that because man his music is is, is dope and but the, the the crime he in there for is uh is, is frowned upon Mm-hmm. Say, but it can't can't deny that his music is dope. We, we we can never deny the timeless music and you know the beautiful music he's created. I, and same thing with Diddy, he has timeless music, but the people behind that are just sick and ill, and it's disgusting. Like ugh. But they, I, we cannot deny that they got some beautiful music out there. I can't deny it. Okay, make sure everybody run over to iHeart, uh, Spotify, uh, 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 uh. uh the other one and check out oh apple 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 podcast and check out the interview with poetic flaco because he said that tasha k's his girl crush oh yeah and and um so so holler at poetic flaco i'm throwing, <laughs> you, the, I'm throwing you the lob uh flaco holler at holler at poetic flaco from over there at the other platform and you know what i'm saying because y'all both got a little messy to y'all y'all make a perfect couple yeah now physically tasha k isn't um an ugly woman. I don't even like using that word because, um, you know, I, I see people saying mean things about her, but I see right through evil. So that makes a person not attractive to me. That makes you. So she's an attractive lady, but her, her, her characteristics. Her soul is just so demonic. It's like, ugh. you know, I see right through that. Like you're, mm-mm. She's, I, I just, I, you know, she's not, she's right. not, I wouldn't consider her interesting looking. She's just, she's not an ugly person, but I wouldn't consider her interesting looking. Um, but she's just demonic to me. Work the, work the glasses, bro. And during this interview, and we was talking about, we was like, man, they, they insides is, is ugly. Their insides is messed up. Yes. And I know a lot of people like that. They, they got money or they very beautiful and or whatever, how it goes, but they insides is toe up. One thing I was always raised on, no matter how beautiful you can make the outside, if your insides is messed up, that's 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 what make you ugly. That'll make you, you know, an ugly person. And the real gonna see right through that. If you can read energy and aura, please. Hmm. Psh. Hmm. So when you look at somebody and you be like, oh, yeah, that little nigga rich at heart, you know what I'm saying? You could tell him from kindergarten he gonna be something like, you know what I'm saying? He got the, he got the, he got the it factor, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gotta have a good insight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that that's that's everything. Your your soul, your spirit, that's everything. We are energy. So after this life, we are energy, you know? So make sure you you do right in this world. Oh, so Tasha K, oh yeah, she the same one that 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 interview uh is it Selena Gomez and that's when they was talking about how small uh academics Pee Wee was, right? Um Sel- Selena Powell, yes. Oh, my bad, Selena Gomez. Whatever, but Selena Powell. Yes. And then okay, yeah, okay, okay. And and that's when that's when Flacco was saying, "No, oh, yeah, he got a big. He, oh, he trying to back him up that much." Yeah, but the thing is, to for women when they say that's so petty because you wasn't saying that when you was dealing with him. Now when you get mad, that's what you are gonna air out. Like that's so ridiculous. Come on, that's ridiculous. And I'm not even an academics fan for real. But I'm just saying like that's so petty to say that, like to hit below the belt literally. <laughs> like don't. That's petty. Hey, see, but not to go that way, right? A little off schedule, and uh, and if you want to know how we feel about that, the, the the interview at, at No Jumper, the the recent one, the little fiasco with, with, with Loose Cannon and, and and Adam, you can look at the community notes on Street TV YouTube channel. But I was gonna say, the the young lady that was getting interviewed over there, mm-hmm. everybody she messed with in the past, she brung up, she said something bad. She said pleasure, plea, a uh, pleasure, p. Got a little peewee that he, all he do is drink. Eight o'clock in the morning, you know, she told her a little Trinidad accent. Then she said, Lemmy from over there at Zeus. Allegations by him I wouldn't repeat because we don't know that to be true. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like females, they get past you and they get to talking that like, rah, rah. It doesn't, And it doesn't make this person credible. And another thing is, what happened to secrecy? What happened to silence and secrecy? Okay, you dealt with this person. No one needs to know that. That doesn't. That just goes to show you that, okay, a lot of people had your poom poom. Like, that's 
what that means. You coming out here saying all these negative things about these people, if you don't like them or you no longer care for these people, you just simply don't have to say anything. All right, so, 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 all right, not, not throwing mud, though. So, say you, you deal with a, a, a young gentleman and he got a Pee Wee Herman and you just very much unsatisfied. Who you go to? Who you talk to about that? It ain't like you slang your mud. You just like, girl, fuck that. I ain't going back over there. I'm a very private person. So um, very, 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 even with um, my sex life. And um, so I don't even think that I would even much so even discuss it with a friend. It'd just be something that I would keep in my brain and leave it at that. <laughs> like, that's just what it is. Hey, brothers, if you're not sized up and you're scared to get embarrassed, you shoot your shot at Mariah. She ain't gonna blast you. Long oh, no, you got, baby, I'm celibate. Don't don't shoot your shot look, over look, here, look, honey. Look, look, long you got good qualities. You got a, a career. She don't want a nigga with a job. She want a nigga with a career. You know what I'm saying? If you don't take care of your kids, she, she know you ain't trying to take care of her. Don't tap in with her. But if you got a little peewee, she not gonna blast you, though. So don't be embarrassed. You know, shoot your shot. Nigga, don't let that be the reason you hold back. Mariah mm -hmm. would never say who she dates, talks to, none of that, number one. And Mariah is focused on the bag and getting to the next level in life. So right now, my dating life is not, it's extinct right now. So you ain't got to worry about that my ne right now, brothers. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I do I do like looking at some fine brothers. Don't get me wrong. Okay, she be reckless eyeballing and all yep, that. Yeah, sure do. Okay, her eyes cock eye like Charleston. Why is she looking all different directions? I, I could me? walk in the room and they just, they feel my aura, my essence, and I'm going to check them out and that's as far as we going. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey, R, so when you look at a dude, what's the first thing you're looking for? Because I remember when I used to be like, girl, I look at his shoes first and tell me a lot of her. Like, what you look at? The shoes and the aura. I can see an aura right away. I can tell the aura right We're away. We're going to skip aura. I'm just okay. Because aura is a real thing, though, but everybody ain't got the uh, the gift to, like, peep that out. I have that gift, so that's I, me. I do, too. Okay, so um, shoes is a big thing to me. Um, cleanliness, like, you can tell when someone is clean. And um, also smell. Like, I should, I can smell you from a distance and be able to be like, oh, okay. Cleanliness is big to me because cleanliness is next to godliness. So that's tells me a lot about you nah because everybody they give compliments on how beautiful you is i'm just trying to get them do some help though so you better better have that good cologne on fool you feel me i'm trying to get out some uh, alley oops you know what i'm saying yeah that that's that's that plays a big factor to me i'm i'm not a shallow person but that is like you know when you look at the shoes that i'm not really big on design and all that 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 don't mean nothing. You could have been borrowing your homeboy's clothes that day. So and it, and it could be faker than a Chris Brown apology. Like, right. You, you feel me? Off. You feel All me? Right. You could just throw you a cool little Nike tag with some white forces. That that'll really do what? Kill it. I'm over white forces, bro. I, I love me some white air forces. I can't keep buying them, man. You gotta get a fresh pair every month. Oh man. Damn, man. That's another bill. It is, but you gotta have a fresh you gotta have a fresh pair of air forces. You got to. But I'm just saying, like, it's it's so simple, you know, like just to you know. Be well maintenance. That's all. It ain't. It ain't hard. Everything. Everything. Oh, and the teeth. Oh my God! Please take care of your teeth. Mm hmm. I was thinking about putting my braces back on, but I don't want to forget it. Me too. But I, they already said I look like a kid, so I'm like, they really gonna think I'm 16. So <laughs> and I really don't need them, need them, but I just wanted to. Okay, then what's going on? What else? What's going on in these metaverse streets? Oh, this metaverse streets. So, you know, Jeezy's um, soon to be ex wife is asking the judge not to enforce the prenup with her ex Jeezy. Um, she has some concerns. She's saying that she didn't have enough time to review the, the, um, prenup. the prenup. Yeah. yeah, she said she didn't have enough time. Um, and you know, regarding the infidelity and she's already been accusing him of cheating and, you know, certain things. But, baby, you know this man got money. You know you got some money. Okay. That should have been reviewed, overlooked, attorneys, all that. Was you that in love? Uh, you know she cap. You know she cap. Hold on. We got a clip. Run that, run that I agree. Yes, I agree. Now, let's talk Jeannie Mai. Now, Jeannie Mai asked for a delay on prenup enforcement. She is asking the court to throw out Jeezy's motion to enforce their prenup. She said uh, if they don't dismiss Jeezy's motion, she asked, uh, could they at least delay it? 
She claims that they only started the prenup process five days before the wedding, so she didn't get a chance to review it properly Not before signing it. Not my problem. She's asking <laughs> for extra time to make sure the terms of the prenup are fair to her. No. She said the short time she was given to review the prenup raises significant concerns about the uh, 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 the thoroughness of the due diligence process. Jeannie Mai also apparently expressed significant reservations about Jeezy's finances. Her, law- her lawyers claim Jeezy only shared one financial statement with them, which doesn't seem sufficient for Jeannie. Dropping the clues bombs for Pastor <laughs> Young. <laughs> well, baby girl, sound like you messed up. I right, so why she, she don't want it enforced right now? Because I thought she covered all the bases. I thought it was really leaning in her favor because she, she was like, can't cheat. Something about a cell phone. Like he had a Yeah, had a so, it was this long, I, can't do this, can't do that. Oh, so he must have really been sticking to the scripts if he didn't violate none of that. She is look. She is literally trying her hardest. It sounds like to prolong this and win this battle. Uh, that now her ex husband. She made him crazy. She she ain't gonna make Jeezy crazy. So she can do all that if she wants to. Okay, the ex husband was white, right? Right. And I I, I think they got a divorce because because she didn't want to have a baby with him she and then remember he had when he got with his new woman he he had to go see like therapy he had like ptsd and all kinds of things because of her oh and that, and that new woman sticking by him through it though right shout out her she yeah real talk Jeannie Mott, and you know i normally do not like to talk bad about people like this but it's, she's a problem for real man hey talk talk yo ish so i don't have to do it hey because I, I like it coming from the same gender you know what i'm saying because if she i say oh, is you... a problem mm, 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 mm. she is a problem she's trying to prolong this she is trying to first she came out and saying that she you know she admitted her fault and that you know she right. had anger issues then it's, it's like every week it's a new excuse just just be accountable for your actions get this divorce over with and keep it moving hey man What's what's old boy she? Oh, oh, okay. Trapper died. She thought she's gonna trap the homie Jay Z and let's go be together till they die. No, it's called Trapper Die, little baby. She and like, you know. Album. I I I, I know. Did you like? God damn. What was? How did I? Cause that wedding was kind of rushed. You know, like was, was 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 she in a rush to get married or was he in a rush to get married or were they just so in oh, love? How long was that together? Mm, not that long. Like, like estimate, like, like throw a little guesstimate out there. Uh, maybe say two, three years. Maybe, maybe. That's, that's it. Ain't it? Ain't good, but it ain't bad though. But it was it, it was pretty fast. And mind you, she was pregnant during that time too. Like you know, put that into account. Like they wasn't together that long. Oh, so they got a baby together. Yeah, she, she might be like one now. Like or maybe a little over one. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't get a chance to check out the prenup. Cause it was kind of rushed. It, it, they was putting a prenup together like five days before the wedding, but you've been uh, married roughly two to three years. You ain't looked at it over the years. That would have been the first thing, especially with you know. I'm sure she got biz, you know, businesses, and she was on a talk show, so she got money too. She have lawyers. Lord, you know what I'm saying. He got a lot. You know that should have been the, one of the first things. A marriage is a business at the end of the day too. So. That should have been overlooked. Like, are you crazy? And if you didn't feel like you had the time to read it over, you got lawyers and a team. She seemed like she's a problem. I'm not going to lie. She seemed like a problem for real. Hmm. Hey, all right. All right. The, 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 the two things people are killed behind is money and their kids. And then when you get you get married, and then that's when all the little tug of war between that them two things come in play. Man, nobody want to deal with all that. What? I just want to know why why paperwork got to be in place for the marriage thing. And I know my boy Alex want to hop from over the ca- camera and shit because he felt a certain way about it. But why get the white people in your business? You know what I mean? And y'all, I, I don't know. But but that that's, I mean, that's a good debate, though. But I mean, I don't know. That's why when you are, um, from my knowledge, and I could be wrong, you know, in the process of you getting ready to get married, you're supposed to take classes. Like when you, if you're a Christian, you know, you take your marriage classes and all those type of things. So, um, they, uh, I don't know if, cause I'm, I've never been married. I don't really know much about marriages, but financial literacy, literacy should be a big factor too. Like, and you know how prenups work because a lot of people are blindsided by that, hmm. you know? So God forbid we, you know, we separate. We already know this is just what it is, you know. So man, forget them classes. You can't teach loyalty, bro. Like, no, like you if, can't. You if it ain't if it ain't in you, then it, it, that's just what it is. Right. 
But you should know that before getting married, if you that blindsided by that person, then that's on you. Hmm. Now, people do change. Don't get me wrong. But loyalty, you should have known. Hey, okay. In relationships, when a baby come about, things do be changing sometimes on Big both time. genders. Like Big ma time. Maybe the female, she not dressing up to par no more, not having sex as much. And then for the male... The male, like, I got her now. I got a baby with her. She ain't going nowhere. So they yep. think he could, she, he could treat her any kind of way. Yep. So, like, situational things, it changed things. You know yep. what I mean? So I don't know. But I heard the girl is very disrespectful and Jeezy ain't going for it. You know, since she got a slick tongue or whatever. But I don't know, man. Yeah. Um. To what you said, yeah, it is a lot. Like, once you have a baby, it does... You know, women's, our bodies go through so many things, you know, the attitude, the postpartum, the tiredness, the men, like you say, they don't, they feel like, oh, she ain't going to where, you know, a good percentage of men, they start acting different. You know, it's a lot. It is a lot. Like the first couple of, the first year is a lot to make it through. My daddy's always telling me, once that six week uh, newborn baby smell wear off, he gonna be back outside. <laughs> and he ain't lying. Hmm. But um, shout out to my baby daddy. He's he's still very involved. But I'm just saying, it, it is true. Oh, your dad told you that about your but baby. My, dad. Yeah, like once he, you know, once once my, my son was six weeks old, he going and the same thing my daughter. But I mean, shout out to him. He's still very much so involved in my kid's life. But it's true. It's very much so true. Hey, I get married because I'm I'm divorced. But if I get married again, she's it. And, and, and she's gonna be well deserving of it for me to get into a contractual agreement. You know what I mean? The last deal I signed was to go to the penitentiary. So, like, if it's gonna be a deal, it better be a deal with somebody involving in some podcast world, some contractual shit. And if it's with a female, she better be. It's the last stop, bro. Yeah. You, you signed to death row. Yeah. Um. He means that in a nice way. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> no, nah, for real, I don't mean a nice way. I, I, if I get married and then I'm getting more, I'm growing to be more successful. What if she want to leave? You talk about death row. What you mean? Man, it's the last stop, bro. We ain't doing all that, bro. And then, then even if I mean, I, I don't care if the female, if I like you a lot and you ain't got the ass, I quite won't. I don't want to cheat on you. So guess what? We go buy you some. We go figure this shit out. That right, is body shaming. No, 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 no. I ain't body shaming. I like you for you, but you know what I mean, like. Nigga, I'm going to help you get it. I'm, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? Whoever marries you, don't get a fake ass because he says so. No, nah, we, no, nah, listen, bro. Listen, you, you, you go, I'm going to let you try to do it on your own. Do squats, duck walls, uh, lunges, and, and work it out on your own. What did she say? You too skinny. You need to get abs. I've been trying to, I've been, I've been trying to gain weight my whole life. So if that's what you want, ain't going to happen, baby girl. You go get you a fat nigga. Mm, it sounds it sounds like mm, I, get, uh, 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 I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, I'm saying though, I'm, I'm gonna be the best husband I could be. But we go, I don't want to cheat. I got I, I got shit I like, and then and we go we go get you that. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's your, if that's your preference. I know I can't wait to. I, the more we talk about marriages on here, I cannot wait to be somebody's wife one day. But um, meet me at the altar in your white dress. One thing I is. The rule I believe in, because I'm a Scorpio to the T. When I'm mad, I do not want to talk. I can go to sleep mad. My thing is whenever I get married or in a relationship, I cannot go to sleep mad. I have, We have to squash the beef that night. like Because I'm good at not speaking for days and weeks and just letting it, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't want to talk. I, I just will be... I'm good at silent treatment for a long time. Hmm. So that's one thing I'm going to work on for my, my, whenever I get in a relationship and my future husband. Let's work on it. Yep. I'm going to work on it. Cause, uh, that's not nice. Ignoring somebody is not good. Hmm. It's very mean. I, I've been, I got complaints on that about myself. Like, cause we Scorpios. That's what we do. I, I, I shut down. Like, yeah, yeah. It's completely shut down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Especially you know, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm all the way in the right or I feel disrespected. All best is off, huh? Yeah, I ain't got nothing to say, and and I that once that vein pops out my forehead, please <laughs> stay away from me. Okay, we done had some uh couple demises and a couple court dates. What what we got up next with this uh? Yeah. Okay. So um, I want to send my love and condolences to um FBG Ducks family. Um, you know, regardless, um he he did pass, but they did find six um. 
alleged gang members convicted of killing um, him, uh, F.E.G. Duck, in 2020. Um, he, F.E.G. Duck was shot over 16 times. Uh, they have not been sentenced yet, but, you know, I wish well for all parties involved. Honestly, honestly, I wish well for all parties involved. <laughs> Hey man, I I hate to I hate to I hate to uh I hate to I hate to see see uh you know a black man go away have to go do time or the rest of their life for that matter, and uh to Mama Duck and her family and they they lost a son or brother or whoever the relation how the relation went, it's messed up for all parties. Mm-hmm. But at that time, Duck will be considered like a trophy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I guess then they took they. They took their chance and shit. That that's toe up. Yeah, it's it's for everybody. You know, even the ones that are incarcerated. Everybody involved. It, it's it's nobody wins in this. You know, nobody nobody wins. Um, you know, losing a family member, losing a son. I couldn't even imagine. And then, you know, these mothers, it, if since they are found guilty, they'll they'll never be able to see their sons free. It's uh, it's one of them dudes that got found guilty named Muwap or something. Yeah, and he was next up. He was he was next up. Okay, they said it's a song with him, Vaughn, and uh, Dark, where he, where he like references or talk about it. You know, what I mean, I, I ain't, yeah. I ain't big on the OTF music, so I don't really know. But but I heard, I heard on one of them little shy rack niggas talking on the internet, like they, was, they said something like that. Yeah, and so he had some shoes, and they said. Trenches News, who end up being an FBI informant since 2006, mm. um, you know, he said the evidence was pretty, they had a lot of evidence on them. Um, but regardless, um, you know, Move Up is young, like, this is, and I'm not making excuses for nobody. What I'm saying is, these dudes be so young, I don't think they just be like, like, your brain is not developed enough to think, like, this may not be the move, you know? But both both sides have lost so many people, so I could only imagine the anger and the hate that's filled in their hearts to make a mockery of what happened. So, you know, I don't live that lifestyle, so I try to. I'm trying to see like, I can't really make sense of it. But like I said, hey, I when, when, when you're not like that, you ain't gonna understand it. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But but, but that, that's what that's what those do as far as this game bank culture. I ain't saying run to the internet, but. They, they 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 might uh you know somebody say uh boo boo and died over here and they may after he died they might go to his hood and hit up over there and put f boo boo or something like right, that. right right that, that's a game banging is a disrespectful sport you know very what I'm very so that's why when 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 free the little homie baby capone he went and defaced the nipsey miro and i'm like him being his age, that's what that's what niggas his age do. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Like and they he don't have he don't have the relationships I got at my age. I didn't like I'm 34, so it's some. Dude, I wouldn't have did it at my age. I wouldn't have did it. Mm -hmm. But I can't say what I would have did at his age or younger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I can't. I can't say. But like he doing what he's supposed to do at that age, and they they game bankers. But how old is Muwap? Do you know? I think he was 21 when he went in, so he got to be like what 23, 24 now. Okay. Okay. So and he and he was he was about to be next up. So it's it's unfortunate, um, you know, to to have his life being thrown away. Like I said, you know, um, your brain is not even a male. What, when do they say a male's brain is fully developed? When they late 20, 25, 25. 25 right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not making any excuses because what's wrong is wrong. But it's just like, dang, if only you just had that second chance, and we could just pause time and just realize this is what's gonna be your future if you do this. This is gonna be your future if you do this. I, you know, like it's it's. I, I hate to see it. Like, and this is happening all across the world, all across the world. Like, it's. it's I, I hate to see this. Like, you know, you know how I feel about this. So, you know, my my said my love and condolences to everybody involved. Speaking all bad that that they got convicted. Uh, I ran and, and, and Alex he could he could fact check this. I randomly because we not have these talks because they be like L A. Oh, the, they think they all that. Or Chicago. Oh, they think they all who tougher, who tougher. I'm like, bro, Chicago, they 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 get away with a whole lot of shit in versus California. If you shoot at somebody and completely miss them, you're still gonna do life. Mm -hmm. So I looked at like the conviction rate in California is 90 something percent. I can't remember the amount. It was between 91 and 95, somewhere in there. And then I looked up Chicago, Illinois, it was 33%. So a 33% conviction rate. What? If they had that conviction rate out here in California, you know what it looked like? 
Mm, 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 mm. And you know what? Another thing is um, when they started calling uh, Chicago Chirac, I had visited and, you know, I was obviously in the nicer area, but it is a very nice city. It is. But, you know, obviously when you go to the outskirts, you see, you, you know, you see certain things. I wonder if the police are either just so tired of they just don't give a f like we see this every day. Are they just or what is it like? Because in L.A., they arrest motherfuckers like crazy. Like this is the first time I think I've ever seen like them taking a murder case in Chicago so serious like this. Or maybe we just not, you know, because there's so many unsolved murders out there. And I'm not saying for them to investigate. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying like this is like the first time I've really seen them like take it so serious it's a high profile case though because, so it's but hard because to of look where it was at like and i was thinking like if this was somewhere else maybe it in was their downtown hood, chicago right yeah one of the most the, good, the, good the, the most prominent area okay. and i've been there before very nice so it's like if this happened in a neighborhood would they have cared you know the same way you know so it's like is that why you know but either way you know um that video of seeing FBG Duck on the floor was very, 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 very sad. Very sad for me to watch just as a mother, just very sad. And just, you know, like I said, for all parties involved, they have all lost somebody and they're all hurting. So it's sad. Like, you know, I, I, I pray for this world seriously. And before we move on, man, all 2024, hey, man, could we, man, when somebody get dropped, knocked down or down there wounded, could we stop recording them, bro? Please man, stop. Man, call the paramedics, get them some help, bro. Like, God Please damn. Stop. Everybody wants the first clip to go up or go viral on Instagram, TikTok, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That people have no compassion for life. Like, family members are going to see this. Not only that, please just stop killing each other, for one. But because this is the world we live in and, you know, we are here, we live and we die, don't think to pull your phone out and record. Hmm. <laughs> Don't like that's sickening. Like I've seen them, I've opened Instagram and seen the most terrible things in my life. Like, oh my God. Like, and somebody's mother has to replay that every day and not then go to court and you know, re revisit. Like, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh my God. Long live duck. No, seriously, you know, I, rest in peace to him. Um, uh, my love and condolences to him, his family. Uh, his mother, um, you know, and, you know, the the young men that are incarcerated. Um, I send my prayers to their mothers and, you know, pray for them, too. Like, you know, they've all lost something to somebody. And I, I know it doesn't pop. Most people are not going to agree with me saying that, but we all hurting out here. So I know that's a part of the streets, but I, I you know me, I, I don't I don't agree with killing or incarceration like that. So, you know. Mm -hmm. we need a healing over this world that part we definitely do and then um just a couple days ago yo Gotti's brother was killed at 47 years old leaving a repass huh. um and his name he went by big juke i hope i'm saying it right his name was anthony mims um you know and that just goes to show you people just don't care leaving a repass I mean, that is the easy way to catch somebody. Right. At a funeral repass, that is the, the, the easiest way to catch a target. And I know that, and I'm not even in the streets, but. Yeah, it been going up in Memphis, back and forth between the two, Uh, you know, the, the, the like. PRE and CMG. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's been going, even uh, Black Youngster, he done lost two brothers so far. You know what I'm saying? Black Youngster, he lost a brother last year. Mm-hmm. And then, you know. It's, it's been it's been a lot going up. The dudes that that killed off, I think they've been captured. They went to jail. And then whoever was involved is like they they took them out. They've been taking them out. Like this killing is just crazy. Like it, it's sad. And if, if I'm not mistaken, they were saying that um, Big Juke's mother was right there when it happened. Like I don't know if she was sitting in the car, or but that's been rumored to say she was like literally right there when it happened. So Big Juke mom. So that should be Yo Gotti mom also. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm assuming they have the same mother. Yeah. I didn't. I just been hearing about the the, the clip when he was on stage in Detroit with 42 Doug. I, did, did you know who, what what he said on stage? Um, I don't, don't know. I don't. I didn't. Um, really. I know, I know he had a vest on like 50 back in the day. Yeah, he had it. But you know what? That's been. In, I've been seeing a lot of rappers wearing a bulletproof vest, anyways, as style. So that could have just been for a style, fashion statement. No, nah, not after that. 
That ain't you no fashion statement. So? After Obviously. that happened, it's a fashion statement. You don't think so? Hell no. Nah. Nah, mm. It ain't. He wasn't wearing it before, and then that happened. He do something for a fashion you, statement. Th these it, it, the bulletproof vest it wasn't. I seen little dark white one too. It, it it wasn't like giving like like a bulletproof. It looked more like a to me. I thought it was more like fashion. I don't. I don't know. I me, could be wrong. Me personally, if I had a bulletproof vest on, you wouldn't know. It'd be up under my clothes. Right. Like, I don't want nobody to know that they need to aim for my head. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, I've been shot in the head before. No. I would I would have the bulletproof vest under my clothes, and you wouldn't even know. Like, and I'd get shot and bounce right back up like a cartoon character. They're like, what the fuck? What I want to say to black men for the last couple of cases we just discussed, you are so beautiful. You are so divine. You could be so many other things. Stop killing each other, man. Some things are, are not even worth it. Literally. Seriously, like this literally breaks my heart to hear about all these things. Like we just discussed a couple of cases and it's like, and then next week it's going to be something else, you know? And it's unfortunate. Like there's nothing like. You know what's that. Stop, stop beef and stop wars. And you just said you ain't good at it for forgiveness. When you forgive people, because like Wallow said, Wallow, his brother got killed. Mm -hmm. and, and and he came home from jail from all them years and, and he spoke and shit. And he was like, like he. He, he forgave the the killer, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if he was to see the killer, he, like, it wouldn't be what everybody think, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that, because cause if he wasn't forgiving, then it's going to be another cycle, because Wallow would knock him down. Mm -hmm. These people go look for Wallow people, go get Gilly, boom, knock Gilly ball head ass down. And it's gonna be like a cycle, you know what I'm saying? So, we need we need more opportunities. We need to learn forgiveness. We need to learn it's so many things that we need to learn, me included, you know, but it, it, it's sad like I, I hate to hear I hate to see it and it's just never ending cycle it's like and now I know every generation says well when I back in the day when I was growing up ooh, ooh. but it's it's like it's cr just crazy it's just I think it's because now we got phones so we can just see it on camera you know like it's just boom right in our faces so it's like damn like I hate to see this. I hate to see this. Not even just black men of all, you know, brown of all races. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of seeing it. But, you know, we are just taking each other out left and right. Like, no, not, that get back be so fast. Hey, that's why or, or when I used to like people like, post Black Lives Matter, I used to hate when it'd be like the idiots in the comments or whatever is where it's posted that they'd be like, oh, well, y'all didn't stop killing each other. But. That's not the point. That wasn't like, the point. Like it's 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 like the minorities, blacks get killed by law enforcement or people that's not of our color. Like what state was that? And they hopped in a truck and they chased the black kid down. And you know um, that was in Georgia. Okay. When he was running and he was running like just going for a jog and they chased him down. Like animals. Yes. Like black lives. That's animalistic. Yes. Black lives effing matter. You know what I'm saying? That's what that is. Because if. If if I go kill Pookie down the street, I'm gonna get life. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you're going it's gonna be you're, go, you're going down, but for them, they're gonna come up with all these excuses and whoop whoop whoop. And you know, I was always told there's only one race, the human race. But obviously, you know, we they, are divided. They pri prioritize by race depending on circumstantial things. And mm -hmm. then, oh boy, uh, George Floyd died. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, he had his knee on his neck. And doing all that, then he didn't even get the time he supposed to got. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. crazy. He lost his life. His family don't have no more. And he got some punk time. Like yeah. 21 years or some shit. Yeah. And that video, I, I cannot watch that. I cannot watch that video. He When they put him in the ambulance truck, he was already gone. And then you you see, you see we, when we say Black Lives Matter, it's because... The way they portray him, they're gonna instantly say, "Oh, he was on dope, or he this, he that." They're gonna, uh, they're gonna put up a mugshot. But when it's a different race, unfortunately, they're gonna post a nice picture of them with their family and with their dog. And but when it's a black person, they're gonna portray them in the worst light. You looking crazy, or maybe with a rag on, or you, you know, it's that's what they're gonna portray. And maybe that was you 20 years ago, but at this moment when this happened to you, you were a totally different person. You know why not? In your last, like, I I just hate to see it. I, I just don't, see I, it. I, just, I just don't like the medias and shit. Or did then well, Ronnie Con, R R Ronnie, Ronnie King, King got beat. They they shit was uh, they didn't get that they didn't get sent up the river right. Mm -mm. That's what I'm saying. That's what we talking about when people get shot down in the streets like it don't matter, and and they get away with it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's what we, we ain't talking about because everybody race do the most harm to they own race. Mm -hmm. The Mexicans kill each other up. Black people doing it to each other. Like come on, bro. The, 
I didn't know white boys beef with each other until I went to the penitentiary and the Pecker Woods and the, and the, and the, and the skinheads was beefing. Yeah. So, like, they, they, they do it amongst themselves also. So, they need to knock it off that bullshit. Yeah. I'm I, tired of that shit. I, I, don't like, I don't like that either. I treat all human beings with respect until I'm given a reason not to. I don't even care if you're in a cop uniform, whether I feel a certain way about their position. I'm still going to give respect until I feel disrespected. But again, you know what I'm saying? I give all people respect no matter what race, color, profession, until I'm given a reason to defend myself or feel like I'm in danger. But, you know, but yeah, like you said, this is where Black Lives Matter means. We're not saying no other race doesn't matter. All of our lives definitely do matter. But we are treated at the bottom of the totem pole and looked at the worst when things like this happen. Mm-hmm. And I'm far from racist. I, and I, I love to have me a little white female on. She got a little body on her. You feel me? I love all human beings. What? Real talk. That part. And I love animals. So y'all better be treating animals right. I don't like cats. Cats are very spiritual, actually. Mm, that's what a book say. I don't know. Um, cats, I, I used to be afraid of cats, but cats are very spiritual. But we'll have another talk about that another no, okay, day. Okay, okay, real quick. Hang on. Right, why, why, why the black cat got to be bad luck? And then why the white cat got to be a pure cat? You know what I'm saying? Somebody crazy made that up. And, and then, and black then, cats are very spiritual. And, and then I might be wrong on this. But the listeners could correct me, but... Uh, uh, a white a, a dove is a dove that white thing but the same that's the same type of bird but it's black so y'all call it a pigeon <laughs> but they the same bird one black and one white i never thought about so, that oh my goodness saying, you know, i don't know man i never thought about that oh my god you know one thing i am i am just a little i'm really not afraid of animals honestly like i just respect all animals i feel like if you treat an animal wrong like god is really gonna punish you because you have no reason treating the animal wrong but um sloths sloths and bob bobcats i just they just i don't know i don't know why those are that's random but those yeah, are it's the, random because you ain't gonna come across neither one of those you all right yeah but a sloth I, I don't know it's just like they just give me i don't know a sloth and a bobcat i don't really too much play with those but other than that <laughs> I treat all animal with all animals with care and love, and also, anytime I come across a pit bull, for the most part, any animal that's just a stray dog, anything, they always show me love and they're always sweet to me. That means I got like a homeless. Good, no, they have. A, that means I have a good aura. <laughs> a stray dog is a homeless dog. But most of the time, they say, "Oh, their dogs gonna attack you." Ooh, ooh, I have a good aura. Just uh, acknowledge that a homeless dude go treat you the same way. He, he ain't got no. He wanna go with you. Acknowledge when animals love you. You have a good aura. Mm-hmm. Just acknowledge it. Bad example. Acknowledge it. Anytime I see a straight dog, it show me love. <laughs> they hungry. <laughs> not all the time. Not all the time. Yeah. Can you just acknowledge that I have a good yeah. aura? Yeah, you got a good heart. You rich your heart. You got a great aura. Thank sure. you. I was waiting for it because I would mm-hmm. not let this go. I was not about to let this go until you acknowledge that because that's what we're not doing. And for the record, I would not have a, a cat for an animal. I'm scared of cats, like, in my house. But um, if I see him outside, like, oh, my God, kitty. Yeah, we ain't doing that for cats. <laughs> but, um, but um, yeah, so we had just seen um wife and Lucci. Um, he's getting credit for time served. B team. Um, and I'm glad to hear that because you know Lucci has you know we really don't really hear much about um Lucci. Um, so he has been jailed since 2021. Um, he had, it was for a violation. Um, I'm just trying to skip through this. His attorney, um, believes that his client will only be locked up for a few more months. What kind of violation was it? Cause you know, violations be real petty, but he was looking at a gang of time. So what kind of violation was it? If they said he was, he, he violated his, um, release when he, uh, while he was on bond by going to a strip club. Yeah, but he had a pending case. I know he, he had did. a pending case, but he probably wasn't supposed to be at a strip club, going to clubs, certain things like that. And that's what got him like officially locked up. Because remember, he was on bond for that stuff. Right, right. If right, you right. want to look into that, listeners, go ahead and do your research. But I'm not going to, you know, do that on here because we want this. We want to see him free. Um, but um, as Lucci has made. Uh, well, wait, hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. You kind of threw me off. Hold on one second. One second. Um, um, his attorney believes his client will only be locked up for a few more months. Um, he has maintained, um, he has maintained jailed for three, um, in jail for three years. Um, Lucci will not uh, cooperate in any other cases. 
Big Tang. He's been part. silent. Yeah. Um. Hey, no, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No. Keep going. He will be eligible for parole in as early as four months from now. Uh, the prosecution also has agreed that he, um, he should be released early on parole and this will allow him to get back to his children, family, and career. So I believe they gave him 20 years. He has time served and he'll do 10 years on probation. I don't know what his stipulations are, but I guess we'll find out more as the story develops. But um, I'm really happy for him. I know he has kids he wants to get home to and Luigi has been silent. You ain't heard him say a thing. I'm going to command Luigi because they uh, came at him. They wanted him to get on the stand on Thug. And he didn't say a word. He stand. He stood on business. And he said he de he, he respectively declined. Like, nah, we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out, shout out, wife and Lochi. Shout out his brother, wife and K. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if Ray Janae go come back around that he about to get out. <laughs> he ain't going for that probably. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We well, we don't know what's been going on behind the scenes. So hey, she, you never know. Maybe she had been holding him down. We don't know. Hmm. Hopefully, I, I, I heard she had a new boyfriend, but I could be wrong though. So don't quote she, me. She did have a cute little like YouTube situation going on, but I like Regine. They so mean to her. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube situation. You know the YouTube couples. Uh, they be like, oh, you know, YouTube, cute little, cute little couple. YouTube situation is crazy. Yeah, but um, you know, for the kids that are watching and listening, mm -hmm. this is what come with the streets. If you choose the street life, understand your lips must be sealed. I don't condone joining the streets. I'm just saying, Lucci kept his mouth sealed and he'll be coming home. Shout out, shout out, shout out that nigga, man. For real, for real. I applaud that shit. Yeah. A Georgia native coming home. Rest in peace, nut. And uh, we were just talking about about uh, Black Lives Matter and, and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a great sub segue to to uh, the last the last uh, get up. Yes. So um, Mr. Dexter Scott King died at 62 years old on January 22nd, 2024, um, which happens to be Martin Luther King's son. Um, I believe he died of cancer. Um, he also was, you know, he maintained his father's legacy. He was a part of the, you know, um, the activist work. He did activist work. Um, he, uh, was a. let me see. Let me, let me get this right. Let me get this right. Shoot. He had a, I mean, his resume is crazy big. That that's an amazing, he was an American civil and animal rights activist, attorney and author. He was also the second son of the civil rights leader, MLK and Miss Coretta Scott King. So, we just want to hey, send our uh, love and condolences to the family. He he uh, damn oh yeah so so you got Martin Luther King the third Dexter Scott King yeah no no I'm just thinking out loud yeah but no rest in peace him no he did some great work while he was still here leaving leaving uh behind his family so we uh, pray for them and he's carrying on his dad's legacy so the right way yeah. and he died in Malibu California which is crazy I thought they were all in you know Georgia but he died in Malibu. Oh yeah, no. and he was a lawyer. I'm I'm surprised mm -hmm. I ain't never heard that before. Yeah, his his kids be doing they they be doing their work. As a matter of fact, not to get too too side <laughs> sidebar, but uh, you you know um, what is his name? That actor that uh just got charged guilty. He's dating Megan Good. What is his name? Um, I thought Megan Good was with a pastor. No, she left him. They divorced. She the the black actor that is dated that was dating that white lady and got accused of abuse and it was a crazy case. What's his name? Oh uh, yeah, Hope? Majors. Um, Jonathan Majors. Mm. He had um, said that uh, you know Megan Good was his Coretta Scott, and one of MLK's kids came back out and cleared the room in the most nicest, respectful way. Hmm. So shout out to the Kings. What a beautiful family, and shout out to uh, Malcolm X's kids as well too. They they also carrying their their parents' legacy in the right way. Okay, Munchie Luther King and Mariah X in the yes, building up. You okay. know that. You we, know we that. Keep, we gonna keep that shit alive too and keep that shit. Yes, pumping. you know that. I ha my dream is to sit with um Ilyasa Shabazz, which is one of Malcolm X's daughters. So that is one of my dreams. So I don't know if there's some hater shit, right? Yes, sir. But it might be. And if it is, I'll claim it. Mm-hmm. When I be hearing certain celebrity females get single, I'll be getting happy. I'm like, 
<laughs> I just need to get in these rooms. Like, I'm gonna shoot my shot, bro. Like, Megan, good. Man. No, I ain't gonna lie. Like, um, when I thought uh, Lori Harvey was done with Franklin from um, uh, Snowfall, I was a little happy. I'm like, now how do I find him? If I don't leave the house, like, how can I get in the same room as him and just say, hello, my name is Mariah? You gotta hop in some DMs. Oh, uh, nah. Be, I, gotta, I can't do thirsty. that because I feel like they're not gonna read it. No, they might not see it. It's gonna go straight to the request. But if, if, if they do notice it, thing, thirsty. Like, if they see the notification pop up, I'm pretty sure they'll be like, oh, okay, baby, baby bracket. And then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Dancing Idris, I love you. Um, Kofi, I love you. I still don't know who Kofi is. We talked about him though. <sighs> He's just an amazing chocolate man. Okay, you got a tight. Raya got a tight. <laughs> Dark skins, the uh, like they, that she like. I just love beautiful men. That's all. All right, all right, all right. All right, but this is Rich at Heart. We covered some good news today. You know, me and Munchie not matching today for I, once. She didn't look through my window today. Yeah, I didn't feel like being a stalker. Mm hmm. In my window. You need a ladder to get up to my window, your short ass, but you be somebody giving you a boost. I know he he's secretly your daughter be telling me like oh this is what color my dad wearing today. That's I think so. That that's the best guess right there. <laughs> but go ahead and drop your handles. All right, uh, everybody follow me on Thread, Twitter, Instagram at mb underscore the mayor. That's mb underscore t h a mayor. Help me get my little followers up. And I said on the interview that me and Mariah about to start working on this book, so I can't be uh podcast cap you know what i'm saying so we got we gonna really start getting to it though yes sir uh, follow my, my my youtube channel munchie b three four zero zero yes and um before i give my handles i want to send my love and condolences uh to my cousin laronda she just lost her husband um that was pretty tragic that that was sudden um Please send, uh, she has a GoFundMe on her page. Her Instagram is LC underscore perfected. I'm sending all my love, my light, and my heart to you guys. Um, they just got married at their baby shower. It was beautiful. They had a beautiful love story. So it was all over. Like, everybody's been posting it. So I just want to send my love and condolences. Um, and make sure y'all donate to the GoFundMe page. Um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at underscore Mariah with four H's. My YouTube channel, I'll be posting a video very soon. I did it my very first interview, and that's at Mariah Sharice. Um, be aware of the fake uh, YouTube page. That is not me. Um, mm -hmm. Also, me and Munchie are working on a book, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, also, purchase my book that's in my bio, my poetry book. I'm working on another one. Um, I'm leaving out something else. Mm -hmm. What else? I know I'm leaving something else out. Hmm. Spotify, iHeart, Apple go. Podcast, and please be sure to leave a review. You know what I mean? Because I know we're doing dope. So go ahead and leave five stars. And yes, and make sure y'all check out on for the YouTube watchers. Make sure y'all check y'all check out the shorts because the shorts be going up. Some of them are really funny. Alex does a great job chopping them shorts up. Um, and then um, a new video pretty much drops once a week, if not two, if y'all lucky. So be on the lookout for that on YouTube. And yes, please give us a review uh, for the audio listeners. All right, man, it's the Rich Out Heart Podcast. Tap in, don't tap out. Tap in, don't tap out. We didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. Beef with that cake about. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. Hey, look. We don't flash money, we stash money. Get our roll on big timer like cash money. All my niggas chasing checks. Rest in peace, the sun. Fat nigga whipping foreign. Fuck your snow buddies, no cap. Now it's ass cap to my cash app. Used to bust traps at Ball Cap.